intertidal zones are exposed to air during low tide and submerged or covered with water during high tide. Intertidal zones are home to many kinds of marine animals and birds. The daily changes in the tides play a major role to the life of living things in this area. Intertidal zones are common to a group of islands or archipelago which is surrounded by seas and oceans. Because of this, countries such as Indonesia and the Philippines are rich in coastal areas which are affected by the rising and receding tides. On the other hand, areas where sea water meets the fresh water from the rivers is also a home to various kinds of animals. These are said to have brackish waters, which means they have a mixture of salt water and fresh water. These areas are called estuaries. Estuaries, these are the places near the coast where seawater and fresh water mixes and are called nurseries of the seas because there are many organisms reproduced in this area. Importance of estuaries they filter sediments and pollutants before the fresh water from the river enters the seas or oceans. Filter the salt from the seas and the oceans before water enters the mouth of the river. Helps during storms and floods. These serve as exit points for the floods. Without them, the streets will remain flooded during rainy seasons. Both intertidal zones and estuaries provide habitats for many organisms. These habitats have a lot of abiotic factors that affect the biotic or living organisms thriving in them. Abiotic factors are water in the forms of waves, second, salinity, third, temperature, fourth, amount of sunlight, and fifth, type of soil. How abiotic factors affect the intertidal zones and estuaries? Waves The waves from the sea may affect the type of organisms living in the estuary. Some organisms like mussels and seaweed attach themselves to rocks so that they will not be carried by the waves. Salinity Salinity rains the salinity of the water refers to the amount of salt present in the water. The salinity of estuaries is lower than that of the sea and ocean. Some organisms prefer to breed in places with low salinity. Temperature Temperature of the water must not be too hot nor too cold for the young organisms to live. The factor is also affected by the tides and the presence of mangroves in the area. Amount of sunlight
The amount of sunlight is crucial to photosynthetic organisms like phytoplankton, seaweeds, and seagrass. These organisms need sunlight to create their own food and produce oxygen for the living things in the intertidal and estuarine ecosystem. If the amount of sunlight in the estuary is low, then there will be less of these organisms that support other organisms in an estuarine and intertidal zones. Type of Soil Soil differ depending on the strength of waves and kinds of rocks present in the area. Some areas are full of rocks and sand, pebble, or clay. Since nutrients are found in the soil, these types of soils have an effect on the kind of living things that live in these ecosystems. The biotic factors of living organisms are composed of all plants and animals and microorganisms living in it. These living organisms live in different habitats found in an intertidal zones and estuaries. Different habitats we have number one, coral reefs, number two, salt marshes, three, mud flats, four, rocky shores, and fifth, mangrove forest. How are the biotic factors or living organisms live in different habitats found in intertidal zones and estuaries? Coral reefs Coral reefs are areas which are teeming with many corals. Coral reefs formations are seen in this area due to a large number of corals living in here. Coral reefs serve as sanctuary for young fishes. Corals different kinds of fishes, jellyfish, sea anemones, and sea stars can be found in these areas. Mud flats. Mud flats are areas where has large amount of mud deposited on it. The mud usually comes from the sea and river. Animals living in mud flats are crabs, migratory birds, sand dollars, mussels, clams, mollocks, barracles, and shellfish. Salt Marsh Salt marsh areas are filled with seawater during high tide and becomes drained when it is in low tide. The area is marshy because of the decomposing plant matter in the area. Animals living in salt marsh are fish, clams, oysters, mussels, snails, and shrimps. Rocky Shores Rocky Shores are shores which has many rocks deposited. These rocks serve as a hiding place for the small crabs and prawns. Animals living in rocky shores are barnacles, hermit crab, sea stars, limpets, mollocks, shrimps, prawns, and crabs. Mangrove Forest Mangrove forests are areas filled with mangrove trees that have adapted to salt water. Mangrove protect 
the cost against erosion caused by waves, winds, and tides. They also protect coral reefs and seagrass beds from silting or deposition of sand. Animals living in mangrove forests are algae, barnacles, oysters, shrimps, lobsters, and crabs. These are also breeding ground for different kinds of fish. What are the human activities that affect the intertidal zones and estuaries? Human activities that affect the intertidal zones and estuaries are number one, deforestation, number two, land and water pollution, and number three, burning of fossil fuels. Deforestation Land and Water Pollution Burning of Fossil Fuels Thanks for watching. Reduce, reduce, recycle, and save Mother Earth. Thank you for watching. And please subscribe for more videos update. Thank you. This is Sir Boyer.